Hello everyone, this is the Dragon Boys, and this is our first video on the video game Skyrim, and we plan to bring you a series on this craze that is going on worldwide. How about the praise? Skyrim praise, I like that. We like this, this game. We're going to show you things that we've learned from other videos, from books, and of course from hours and hours of playing this game. We will show you the tricks, the trades, and the walkthrough of Skyrim. And we might even show you a few tricks along the way. So, I hope you enjoy this video and come back and check out more very soon. Alright, here we are. We're in Riverwood. This is the first city you'll come to. And uh, right now we are between the blacksmith, it's right there on the right side of your screen, and the trader on the left side of the screen. Uh, if you don't know where these two places are, you will very quickly because this is where you'll get to very early in the game. Now what we want to show you, again we're going to do a walkthrough with you, but we wanted to whet your appetite a little bit and give you uh, some tricks. If you're just starting in this game, uh, you'll have to wait just a little bit to do some of these. Uh, but if you'll go to your map now, I wanted to get you reference where you are. There you are at Riverwood. Show that it's at Riverwood. Straight north, straight up from Riverwood is the town Whiterun. This is the second town that you will go to if you follow the, the missions and even some of the side missions. Uh, go to your map and just click on Whiterun. Uh, if you've been there, you can fast travel there. If not, you of course, you'll have to walk there. But what we're going to show you in this video is actually four different uh, chests that you can find uh, that are just full of weapons and potions and metals and money and uh, uh, one of them is a uh, I guess a glitch a built-in glitch to the game and that's the first one we want to show you and we're showing you this one first because like we said this is the second city you can go to and you can do this one pretty quickly in the game to, to start getting your money and your weapons up uh, also, all these weapons that you're going to get, uh, wait just a minute and I'll tell them where to go, all the weapons you're going to get and sell, every time you sell a weapon, your speech value actually goes up. So you can level up just buying and selling. Okay, you're right inside the gate at Whiterun. Uh, this is where you come in. Turn immediately to your right and you'll see an archway. Go through this archway. Don't go all the way through and then there's another right. Turn immediately to your right and then you'll see a barrel. What you're going to do is you're going to jump up on top of this barrel and then turn to your right and you see a wall up there. Uh, now this may take you two or three or if you're like me 15 <laughs> attempts uh, but what you're going to do is jump from the barrel to the wall. Uh, sometimes it helps uh, believe it or not to take off your clothes and weapons and we may try that in a minute uh, but go ahead and try it a couple more times here. Just get up on the barrel. Get up there on the barrel. No, it's good. I want them to see how hard it is sometimes. And just jump. Uh, the funny thing is, if, if we weren't videoing, he always does this in one, one jump uh, when we're doing it by ourselves. One more jump, and if not, you can take your clothes off. There it is. Once you get on the wall, just keep running and jump a couple of times. Jump, 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 jump. And what you're going to do is you're going to fall through in just a minute. Jump, 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 jump. <clears throat> sometime it'll let you through, sometime it won't. Just keep running. Uh, if you can't go that way, uh, we'll show you another way to go, but if you keep jumping, it'll go through there eventually. Do you want to show them the other way to do it since we're here? Just follow the wall to the left, and then you can fall right through it. Now stay up next to the wall. Slow down just a little bit. Turn around. Show them where you came from. <clears throat> back up just a little bit there's right inside that wall there is the barrel so you just come out the left side of that wall and now you're going to stay on the outside of the wall <clears throat> don't get too far out now what this is it's a glitch they built into the game if you look out there into the wilderness notice most of the grass is gone the water is gone all this uh, so you're actually not in the game right now it's a glitch that's built in so don't uh, wander far out there. I've heard that you can have problems if you wander far. We've never had a problem, but uh, we haven't wandered that far either. So stay up close to the rocks and up to the walls as close as you can. Uh, but it's not going to blow up your machine or anything like that. Don't worry. 
you may want to watch this a couple of times to to see exactly where you are you'll see a uh, a farm coming up on your right and a dome those will be good reference points you'll pass a ditch there's the ditch that you pass through <clears throat> Just keep staying up next to the rocks, close to the wall. There's that uh, dome building that's out there to your right. Just keep walking toward it, up toward the wall. Notice the little guard shack up there. Head toward the guard shack. You can see the little path within the rocks. There's the little farm I told you about. And when you get to the farm, you're going to want to turn right back up to the left. Now, go right back up to the wall. Now, once you get up here, I want you to stop and turn to the right just for a minute. Turn to the right. Uh, turn back to the left just a little bit. Walk straight. If you'll notice, there's a little rock that looks like a bird. Do you see the rock that looks like the bird right there on the right? Turn to your right. To your right. Right there. There's a little rock that looks like a bird. Walk in between those two rocks. And now notice here, it looks like the, the ground goes out from under you. Don't worry, you're not going to fall into Never Never Land. You can walk right across it. Now look up so they can see where you're going. Okay, slow down. Right there, what you want to do is you want to hop up here and walk straight into the wall. Turn to your right. Now straight into the rock and the wall. Straight into the rock and the wall. And there you are. Now stop right here. <clears throat> now what you are, you're in white run now, in the glitch, okay? Uh, look down for a minute. Again, it looks like you're going to fall into Never Never Land. You're not. Uh, you can jump, you can run. I've heard some people say, oh, you got to walk softly or keep jumping. No, you don't. But what we're going after is a chest. You see the chest right out there in the middle. Uh, it's just full of stuff, and that's what we're going after. So you start walking. If you stay to the left, you won't run into invisible walls. If you go to the right, you'll run into invisible walls. Just uh, You'll have to jump through them. When you get up here, just jump, and you'll see it says search chest. Hit X when you're up in the air, and just look at the things that, that's in there. Uh, there's all kinds of metal. Look at that, 1,000, uh, 1,120 gold, uh, all kinds of metal, all kinds of leather, uh, armor, weapons. Slow down just a little bit notice all kinds and the higher level you are the better the weapons that'll be in there if you're just starting out it'll probably just be iron weapons or steel weapons uh, the higher you get the more stuff you can hit square and it'll take all or you can take what you want to now when you take all you're overweight but don't don't worry stop for just a minute uh, the only thing is you can't run now there's a couple of ways you can go right here to your right if you notice there's a break in the walls. If you'll head straight that way, this is an easy way to go. Uh, that's the way we'll go, but stop and turn to your left. There's another way you can go. Do you see the uh, uh, archery range right there? If you'll just walk to them and jump up by them, you'll be out. Uh, but we'll show you how to do it the other way. Turn to your right. It's, the, it's a little bit further, but it's the easiest for me uh, because it's the easiest reference. You can see the big gap in the walls. Just head for the gap in the walls. And again, nothing's going to happen to your machine or anything else. And you've just made a thousand dollars in gold, plus you've got every kind of weapon and armor and metal and leather that you can ask for. If you sell it all, you probably got, counting the gold, you probably got about three thousand gold out of one chest. Turn to your right just a little bit, straighten up. Now what you're going to do, you're going to start seeing some steps, like you're walking up steps. See, this lady's going to walk right over you. And once you get up here, you're going to start walking through the steps and just hop up. And guess what? You're back into the game. You're right back in the middle of white run. Anything you want to add, Dragon Boy? Well, the other way is easier for me. It takes less time to get to the blacksmith. And if you're trying to forge weapons or get your your uh, your smithing, smithing up, up, that is the easiest way to go. If you're trying to sell at all this would be easier it would take less time stop for just a minute turn around you don't have to walk but uh to your right straight up the steps right there there's one blacksmith up there on that hill he's the one that does the companion armor he's also the one that has the skyforge steel and then right. 
He's right under the eagle. Right? right under the eagle. You see the eagle rock that his cursor's on? And then also, if you'll turn to your right, right back when you go in the front gate of White Run on your right, there is a, another blacksmith. Uh, so these is where you want to uh, take these uh, weapons and sell them. If you have a house or if you have a place to stay, you can take and store it all. You don't have to sell it. But that's the first chest. And again, you can watch that over and over and over to figure it out. We actually have three more chests, and they're easier. They get easier now. You won't have to do all them glitches. Uh, so we'll go to the next one now. Okay, we're back in Riverwood. I thought this would be a good reference point. Everybody knows where Riverwood is. It's where you basically start out in the games, the first city. Uh, go back to your map. And uh, just north again is White Run, where we, we just were. And below that is Riverwood. And this chest is going to be in Markarth. You're going to go left, way left, way left, all the way to the left, in fact and just hover over it for a minute. There is Markarth. Now, uh, if you've never been there before, uh, obviously you can't fast travel there. You'll have to walk, or... You can take a carriage for 20 to 50 gold. Uh, which is a very good tip. Uh, you can go only to the major cities, by the way, doing that. But it is a super fast way and an easy way to get to somewhere on your map. Uh, if you've never been there, you can't fast travel, but once you've been there once, you can always fast travel. So since we've been there, just click on it and say fast travel yes. And now we're going to show up in Markarth to show you this second chest. Now this chest is going to have different things than the one in Whiterun had. Uh, it, it is a Khajiit trading chest. It will have mainly potions, some weapons, and mage robes, so do not expect, like the White Throne chest, to be full of armor, weapons. It will have some weapons and some armor, but it have a lot of potions. Uh, probably the best thing out of these chests is the soul gems, which are hard to find in the game. Uh, how you enchant your weapons, and you're going to find a lot of soul gems. So, you show up in Markarth, what you're going to do is just turn straight around and go right back out the gate. Now you can... Once you learn the game, you can show up at the stables instead and walk up the hill. But or to Pelagos Farm. Or to a closest. farm, right? Uh, but we're just showing you the easy way for reference now. Uh, just go right out, right back out the front gates of Markar. And of course, every time you open a major door or gate, uh, the game auto saves. So we go through this loading process. And here you are. Now my partner's going to tell you where to go for now. You travel down the steps and follow this stone road, as I am doing now. Follow the yellow brick road. Yes, it's the silver brick road. The silver now. brick road. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tease him with a character. I call his character Shrek. Because he's a green orc. Okay. When Shrek is running. Shrek is running. Okay. When, when you're at this bridge, you want to head down this hill and when you see that bridge now just so you know this only works if the Khajiit are not here okay stop for a minute let me explain the Khajiit the Khajiit are traveling salesmen basically and they're the cat people and uh, they caravan and they'll show up in in town well uh, right outside of town. right outside of town selling things and uh, the reason you can't do it when they're there is because they're going to be on top of this chest okay to the bridge now what you do here you turn left See this little stone wall? Rock wall. Okay. You go on this side and you crouch. Crouch down, which is on PlayStation. It is L3. It is on everything. You have to crouch just so you know. It right. is pretty far in the ground. And it's probably easier if you do... Uh, he just did uh, R3, which makes it first person, so you can see. Right here in front of the wall. Uh, if you do, get out of that for a minute. Uh, go back to where they can see where you're at again for a minute. Uh, back up. See, he's right along the stone wall. If you'll back, just walk backwards. Walk backwards, walk backwards, walk backwards. Again, the bridge is to right behind you where the river is. There you go. Now you can, now you can turn around. You see the rock wall. Crouch. 
get it on first person, start looking on the ground. Just go slow because sometimes you can go over it and it uh, won't show up. So just keep looking uh, in through here. And there it is. See see how see how touchy it is? Hey, you got to show them how hard it is too. That's good. There it was. <laughs> this is why I like the water room chest a little better. So touchy. The the thing about these though that are neat, it's it's uh, you don't have to do the glitch in the game or anything like that. Now again, you can take all or if you don't want to be overweighted, you can just go through here like he is and pick the things out that you want. Notice. Uh, there's all kinds of hides. There's there's the soul gems. There's By the way, uh, if you're starting, you want to have the hides for leather to make iron daggers, iron iron armor, banded iron armor, that sort of thing. And you will usually use leather throughout all the smithing. So if you are just starting out, always hunt and use deer hides. Hides, wolf hides, yeah, all hides. that. We'll show you how to do that in the smithing video uh, very soon. Uh, there's the soul gems. Now stay on the soul gem for a minute. If you notice down at the on the little box on the right hand side, it says greater soul gem weight. That tells you the weight. That tells you the value. 100 gold pieces. Right below that it says empty. Uh, find one that's filled. There's a petty soul gem that's also empty. I know there's there's field ones on here. There's always going to be at least one field filled soul gem. Uh, what it means, it's filled. It's filled with a soul, which means you can enchant your weapons with it. The empty ones, basically, you either have to sell or you have to fill them. We'll show you how to do that on an enchanting video soon. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think there's one up top. But we can show you that later. Look at all the potions, mammoth tusk, all kinds of things that you can sell anything else you want to mention on this chest we'll go to the third chest in just a moment this chest is particularly is easiest one of the easiest for me and my partner but well this is easier for him because he can't do the lot <laughs> really this one and the next two are, are super easy all you have to do is crouch on, on both of them and if you're looking to de-enchant stuff, this is the way to go. They always have about at least one piece of enchanted Yeah, items. if you notice again on the box to the right, Dwarf and Shield, then go down below it, it says increase shock resistance by 50. That means it has an enchantment on it. Uh, and we'll, again, we'll go into that in a video about enchanting things. So I am going, just, I am just going to take the resist fire and and shock for now because I don't want to get overweight. I'll wait till the next chest. And when you're done, again, I keep referencing everything from PlayStation 3. Of course, it works on computer or Xbox, Xbox but uh, circle on PlayStation 3 gets you out of the chest. And now we'll show you the third chest. And we are back in Riverwood. Again, we are at the blacksmith and trader. Now, what you want to do here, we are going to go to Dawnstar. It is one of the major cities. It is actually right north of White Throne. So, if you'll go There's right down, Riverwood. White Throne. And if you go straight up, you will eventually find Dawnstar. There it is. Now, if you'll fast travel to Dawnstar, this one will work with the Khajiit there or without the Khajiit there. Am I saying that right? The Khajiit. Khajiit. Khajiit, yeah. And <laughs> the again, cat people. the cat people. Those are the traveling salesmen. Uh, this chest is very hard to find if you are not careful. It is disguised very well. And it's actually hard. It's my, the hardest to find until you get down. Right. It's easy for me. It's right in front of a rock. Yeah. Well, okay, you're here. Uh, that's going out of town. That's going okay. into town. Now, what you want to do, you key if you are getting everything and you do not have high stamina or carrying capacity, you will always want a horse if possible. 
Uh, they will let you fast travel if you are overweight. If you want a free, if you want a free horse, uh, join the Dark Brotherhood. That's where I got my horse. But that's a different video again. Go go straight through town. That's all I'm doing. Just going straight through town. Go all the way till you see you go past this building. And when you see it, if you're just starting out, there will be a group of people arguing. And but you, notice that just, this road just dead ends. Here's the blacksmith. There's the smelter. There's a wagon in the road. And you know, see how it, there's a mine on the right. The road turns to the left. So it's real easy. Just go straight until the road dead ends. Okay, you see these three rocks here? Three what rocks. What you want to do is you want to crouch. Again, you want to crouch. And if, and if you are... If it ha it bugs you like it does my partner, you will want to go to the third person, and it is right by this rock at the bottom. There's one, two, three rocks, and it's just right there every time. And you want to hit X again if you're on PlayStation. Of course, there's uh, jewels and all kinds of stuff again. Same type stuff. There's your soul gems. Now, there's one that I tried to show y'all last time. Filled with common soul gems. You see that on the right hand box? That means those are filled. Uh, you definitely want those. Uh, it's even got ebony. Ebony is so hard to find. There's countless videos on YouTube. How to find ebony? How to find ebony? Well, it's all in there. There's we'll some gold. You, we'll show you that in a later episode, too. There's more soul There's a greater soul gem. Look at all them soul gems. There's iron, uh, lock picks. You can't have enough of them. Uh, I probably got more than I need, but. <laughs> He got over a hundred, so. Yeah, there's more field soul gems. There's five of them. And just it's and look, so look at the potions. I mean, there's so po many potions. Poisons, potions. Healing. Healing. There's all kinds of stuff. There. There's your salt. These people even have drugs in here, folks. Drugs. <laughs> look at that. Causes 50 points of damage. Just so you know, you might have seen... Now look at that, an ebony, ebony greatsword. Great of course, wow. this is because I'm high level. I'm also 100 on my smithing. Again, the higher up you are, the better stuff that will be in here. Because, I mean, you've got uh, dwarven stuff, uh, all these blessed things. I don't need this stuff is why I'm just going right on past it. Just so you know, if you're just starting out, if you see the iron ore or moonstone ore, will you go back up to the top? I will. Okay. You will want to get two of those, and you can make you can make a you can make iron ingots, steel ingots, that sort of thing. In the smelter, and we In will show smelter. we will show that there's the ore. Silver ore. Uh, it takes two silver ore, and there's two right there to make a silver ingot. We'll show you that in the backsmithing. And again, once you've picked all that you want, probably if you're just starting out, you'll probably want to get it all. And then try to go sell it. If you got a horse, again, you can fast travel. Uh, I got what I wanted, so I will stand up. We are back at Riverwood, as you can see. Now, what you want to do, we are going to show you the solitude chest. This is the last one we're going to show you on this video. Another very easy chest. So, again, go to map. Now, it, go to, to uh, you, we are at Riverwood, as you can see. You want to go north to Lots Run. Now go eat north northeast, all the way northeast to right there, Solitude. Yep. There's Lots Run. It's it's east of it's east of Dawnstar. It is the capital of the Imperials, but we'll show you that in another episode. This is my colleague's favorite chest. He, it was one of the easiest for him. It's it's super easy. Uh, you can get it when the traveling salesmen are there. You can get it anytime. And uh, we should mention every one of these chests regenerate every forty eight hours. So you can visit them. Uh, and I'm talking game time, not your time. Uh, anytime forty eight hours passes in your game, if you want to stand there and wait. For 48 hours you can and the uh, chest will be full again just for your own benefit i'm going to tell you this you do not want to wait unless you are a werewolf in the companions or you will get a disease and you will make your stuff go down yeah you, you want to go somewhere and sleep all right 
We are in town. Just turn around. Go right back through the gate. Again, you can go to the stables, but we're just doing an easy reference for you. Solitude's a little bit different. Solitude actually has two gateways, so don't let that confuse you. It did me at first. That's the main gate. And then when it starts again, you're going to see there's another gateway. There's not an actual gate on it, but there's an archway. This chest is particularly harder to find if the Khajiit are here. We had just yesterday found out how to do it with the Khajiit, didn't we? That's right. Uh, what you want to do... There's, here, there's the main probably, gate yeah. of solitude. There's, there's the, the second first, gateway. So we're going to go on past this. I guess this, this is the first gateway. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. You want to go on past this one. According to which direction you're going, huh? Yeah. Okay. Now up here. See this little fence? The, See the wooden fence, right? Now take, there. go into this little yard right here. You want to go right past the fence, okay? Okay. Now if you see that see little the bush. shrub bush, the bush. Mm -hmm. if you look at the shrub bush, you need to kneel down on this one too and go to the third person if you want. And it is right around, you will find a blue stick. <laughs> yes, it is a blue stick. I know, it sounded crazy to me too at first. There it is, by the way. It will be around that blue stick. So, you want to find the blue stick. and you See the blue stick right there? You want to find the blue stick and it will be in right above it or right below it. It's actually easier to find this thing when the Khajiit are here. <laughs> it is, ain't it? I should be able to be better at this by now. Not what you've been doing. It should be right in there. We should have practiced this. <laughs> we did it, shouldn't we? It's been, oh, there, there it was. was. And this one is another Khajiit one. So, if you want, so, it will always be different. Sometimes it will Look at that, three be, ebony. <laughs> sometimes it 750 will have, gold. It will have the same thing sometimes. It will have different things. It will be exact. It will be identical sometimes. If you want more of one item, most of the time, oh, excuse me, most of the time, every item that's in another one of the Khajiit ones that we have shown you will be in another one, right. according to, uh, well, I guess it ain't according to anything. It's just dumb luck if you find something that's different. But again, go through, get what you want. There's a dwarf and battle axe. Orcish, great sword. Some of my favorite armor is the Orcish. But. Uh, also notice on the right hand side at the bottom of the screen, you'll see your carry weight. That's something you might want to notice. See, I'm at 261 right now. Can you see it? 386 is my limit. It says carry weight there on the right hand bottom. Uh, as long as you stay under it by a pound. Uh, you can run. Now you can carry or as fast. much as you want. Or fast travel, that's right. Uh, it'll just take you a lot longer if you get overweight. If if you were like us the first time in White Throne, it'll take you forever to go to every store to sell all your items. It took us, what, an hour to get <laughs> around all the town? Uh, and see, most shops only have about $1,000 or under, so... Well, no, that's just with you because you got that perk. Right. So. so there are the four secret chests. Now, there are more, and we can show you uh, later, and we probably will, but most of the others are you actually have to steal stuff, and I don't like that because you can't sell it. Well, uh, there is actually one right near here. You want to show them since it's like two We can, the one down the water? Yeah, down in the water. Okay. This one... There's, there's your fence again. There's the second gate, so just go on back down the road. Okay, continue, Dragon Boy. You want to take a left right at this wagon, and when you find a big boat and dock, you will find a ladder, a stairway down into the water. Go there and take a left, basically. There's the wagon. Diagonally left. So you want to go left. So, and you will find a chest. It, it doesn't have great stuff, but it's an okay way to get some 
Hey, it's pretty a, decent. Stuff. It's a free chest without having to kill anybody. You know? Nope, no, no, you're going the wrong way. Whoop, this way? Yeah, down stone stone path, y'all. Stone path. I was about to say I've never done this. <laughs> now we're. Now you take down the stairs. Down the steps to go to the dock. There's the big boat. I was. See, talking you gotta about. listen to Dragon Boy. He's always right. There's the dock. Whoops. Left. Okay, right here you will see the stairs to your left that lead down into the water. Right around here somewhere. Not on. No, on the, it's on the right, but I'm I'm at the right. Sorry. Okay, right, right here. Right here. Right here. If you want to go down. Uh, by the way, if you're just starting, do not stay under the water for long or you will kill yourself. Okay, now we're... Okay, we're... now you take a left. Left, keep going left. Left. There are barrels, chests, you pass the chest, by the way. See, there's chests there right there. There it is. 54 gold, there's a healing, and oh, there's the amulet of Mara, which you have to have to get married. <laughs> But you can only use the, I'm pretty sure it's only the one you buy in the temple, though. I'm pretty sure. And again, where's those steps? Right here. Okay. So they're just, just off of the steps to the left. Thank you for reminding me of that. Sure. And every time you go, again, every 48 hours, there'll be something in it. I think it's different every time you go. It is. It'll be a little different. It'll usually always have gold. Just say no. The Khajiit will always have poison. And the one in Watrum will always have armor and weapons, so if you're looking for poisons, go to one of these last three. If you're looking for weapons, go to Watrum. Go to Watrum. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video on these trick chests. Uh, we'll be bringing you more uh, for Dragon Boy number one. And Dragon Boy number two. We'll see you soon.